Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,464. Hey, if you want to download this Excel file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got to see an ever important task in Excel. Is a particular item in a list, and in our case, the list is going to be on a separate sheet. The answer to this fundamentally comes from knowing how to use the match function. Now here's our situation. Phone number, phone number. I need to look on this other sheet with our complete list of phone numbers. So I click on the sheet, and there they are. I need to, back over here, search for that, and with a formula, find out if that telephone number is in the list on this other sheet. Now, anytime you're working between multiple sheets, there's a great trick that will allow us to see both sheets simultaneously. I'm going to go and click on the phone number sheet, click in the phone number or wherever here, and go up to the View tab. And when I click New Window, a second instance of this workbook will be created. Now I'm going to click New Window, and immediately I'm going to hold Control and roll my wheel to zoom in. Notice what happens up in the title bar. That's the name of the file, and there's a 2. Now I'm going to use the keyboard Alt-Tab. Alt-Tab jumps between active windows. Notice back in the original, there's a 1. Alt-Tab, over here there's a 2. Now very important, this is not a duplicate. It's not like we did Save As and created a separate file. And I'll prove that. Right here, I'm going to type the letter E and Enter. Notice we're in. File to Alt-Tab, of course, since it's just allowing us to see the sheet twice without duplicating the workbook, there's the letter E. When I delete it, Alt-Tab, of course, it's gone. Now, here's what's so cool about this. Whichever one I'm in, I can click on a separate sheet. So now I'm on the sheet 1464. I can see where my formula needs to be created. I'm going to hold Control and roll my wheel to zoom in. I can see up here it says number two. But now I go back to View and Arrange All button. This gives me the opportunity to decide how I want to view them. I want to view them vertically. So when I click OK, I am seeing the two sheets, phone numbers and 1464 side by side. It's still the same workbook, but we're allowed to see the sheets side by side. Now, the question here is, is this telephone number over in this list? Well, somehow I need to get that and search through every single one. And I can clearly see that phone number is over in this list. It's in position number two. If I'm looking this phone number up right here, I'm searching all the way through, and I do not see it. So that one is not in the list. Anytime we're looking up an item and we want to find the relative position of the item in a list, we use the match function. So let's see how this works. Equals match. Now, match is a lookup function like VLOOKUP or index. But match, when we give it a lookup value, that's the telephone number we want to go and try and find comma. When I give match the lookup array, that's our list. I'm going to click over here and drag. Notice how cool that is. It properly puts the sheet name with the syntax for this is a sheet name, explanation point, and then the range A2 to A14. Now I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it with the dollar signs, because when I copy down, I need that locked. Match will totally take whatever is in A6 look through this entire list, and report the relative position of the item in the list. Now, for us, we know that by doing it with our fingers counting, we saw this as the second item over in this list. Now, we have a third argument, so I type a comma. And we're doing exact match, because I want to find exactly those characters for that telephone number. So I either double click, type a 0. And that instructs match to do an exact match. Those other two options are for when you have a sorted list, which we do not have here. So match type, I close that off. 
and match when I control enter totally reports position two. Now when I double click that fill handle right there with my crosshair or angry rabbit to send it down, it totally does the trick. Not available means that that telephone number is not in this list. Three means it definitely found it. And if we look over here, it's exactly the third item in the list. Now since we're interested in is it in the list, we only want a true in the cell if it comes out a number. So I come up to the top cell, F2. And now I wrap the is number function around the match. Anytime you want to verify that an item is in a list, is number and match is the way to go. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Sure enough, false means that telephone number is not in the list. Now watch this. I'm going to come over here in F2, click inside so I see the is number argument, click on value to highlight everything there, Control C to copy it. Escape. Now I'm going to come over here. Because yes, lots of times we want the logic, is the item in the list over here? But lots of other times we want to find out, is the item not in the list? So equal sign, Control V, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Whereas when you're trying to find out if the item is in the list, we're interested in number. If it's not in the list, we're interested in NA, not available. So I come up to the top. F2, and sure enough, is NA is a logical function. It will report true when it sees an NA, false when it does not. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now, one other thing we might want to do, and I'm going to copy this, Control C, and paste it right here, Control V, Control and Roll to roll out a bit. Sometimes we don't want true or false. We want something like found or not found or any other text you might want in the cell. So I'm going to hit F2. Remember, that whole thing is just delivering true or false. And what we want is found, not found. Anytime we have one of two things that we're going to put in the cell, we can use the if function. We already have our logical test. We just need to put Value if true, that means if the logical test comes out true, what do we want? And then value if false. So I come to the end, comma to get to value if false. In double quotes, F-O-U-N-D, in double quotes. So anytime you have text, you have to put it in double quotes or you'll get an error. Now I type a comma. Value if false, that means the item was not found. Double quotes, and now I put not found. And double quotes, close parentheses. Control, Enter, double click, and send it down. And now we have maybe something that's more helpful than true and false. All right, in this video, the essence is that awesome match function, which looks up an item and tells you the relative position of an item in the list. We used match and is number to check if the phone number was in the list on the other sheet. F2, is and A is when you want to look for not in list. And then, of course, we, F2, saw how to use the if function to put something in the cell when our logical test comes out true and something in the cell when it comes out false. Hey, and also, escape, we saw how to use view new window to open up a second occurrence, and then arrange all. Now watch this. I'm going to come over and close whichever one, maximize. And now, sure enough, we are back to notice no number at all, just our original file name. All right, if you like that video, click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and be sure to sub because there's always lots more videos from Excel is Fun, and we'll see you next video.